Hey everyone, the numbers are in for October 2021 at Seychelles in Panama City Beach. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group. Um, want to go just into pricing for you this month. I don't want to get into, or I, I told myself I wasn't going to get into all the charts and the market trends for you. Um, I did, however, want to show you one thing because I know it's noteworthy. Uh, and plus, I probably just couldn't pull myself away from the looking at all these fun charts. Uh, anyway. The red line, remember we've been watching the red line because that represents supply. It's one of the things we've been tracking. And for the last six months, this is the overall condo market. For the last six months, we've been adding units for sale um, consistently, month over month. And think about think about these two, think about what's happening on these two trends here. The, the beginning of the pandemic, which is about here, month over month over month over month, there were fewer and fewer condos available for sale. So if you're a buyer trying to buy something, imagine what that might feel like. You're starting to shop and you see what's for sale and a couple of weeks later, there's just fewer. Another month, maybe you tried to offer on something, it didn't work out. And then the next month you have fewer choices. It got pretty intense and that's where a lot of, like the, the hottest part of our market was very early in 2021. Since then, it, it hasn't been well reported. Uh, unless you've been watching my chart love um may april may march april may of this year we we kind of it was the most intense it had been and we started adding supply every month so for the last six months buyers if they're trying to buy something they found something that was great they bought it if they didn't find something the next month they actually had a few more choices and the next month they had a few more choices again it wasn't dramatic but it's happening and little by little you've heard me talking about this for the last few months that we're interested to see how long that's going to take place the longer that goes at some point we're going to have too much supply for the number of buyers in the market which would put pressure on prices um, i was interested to see this month that we actually dipped below supply levels of the last two months and came back the other way you remember my infatuation with this month's of inventory number we're actually back down to 2.33 which is a very healthy seller's market if we look at seychelles specifically it's pretty hard to uh, interpret just that little bit of data from one building, but you can see um, that numbers move down a bit. Well, sorry, December, January, they're actually high um, and move back down and have kind of popped around. And you can see it's pretty low again. Uh, again, not a lot of data to interpret. Um, so let's look at some specific numbers and pricing for you and see what's going on. So in the one bedroom plans, let's look at the ones without the Gulf Front Master to start with. Uh, closing recently at 371,000. A second floor unit closed at 390,000. Third floor unit closed at 395. Uh, there's a one bedroom on the market asking 405,000. It is now under contract. Uh, means that there is a sale pending. Not necessarily at the 405 number, but I think it's encouraging. Anytime we see a major price break get broken, um, it's encouraging to see that there was some activity there. And then the only other unit on the market for sale in Seychelles uh, is 1902 asking 4099. So a couple of things. If you're thinking about selling a one bedroom uh, or an end unit right now, it's an excellent time to be on the market. Think about it. We've just seen um, supply drift down a little bit again. We see that there's still demand in the market, in a, which is still a very good market. All these things we've been talking about, about potentially changing uh, or markets going in another direction, it doesn't show signs of that happening in the short term. Um, experienced condo owners, buyers are already, already thinking about a purchase and getting it ready for next year. Those buyers are already shopping. Uh, they'd like to have a closing December, January, at the latest, uh, depending on what needs to be done to the unit. If something needs to be done, they want to get the unit looking good. Um, they need to get management in place. They need to get new marketing, photos, videos, what websites built, all those things. And so uh, anybody who wants to be ready for March 1 um, is already shopping now. So thinking about the kind of that kind of buyer and uh, the limited supply, very limited supply at Seychelles. If you look right next door at Treasure Island, there are 11 units on the market. Three of those um, units are on the market for substantially less dollars than there's a couple of recent sales. Um, hasn't happened in Seychelles yet, so uh, another good reason to maybe be ahead of the competition a little bit if you are thinking about selling. Again, as an owner, be encouraged that um, 
there's still it's still a pretty good healthy market. We don't see prices being hit anytime soon. Um, a big push for me between now and the end of the year, I like to get out valuations. It's something new I'm starting this year specifically for past customers. Um, but uh, I want to get updated valuations out to those people who want them. Uh, there have been there's been enough movement on pricing, especially in the last year and a half. I want to give people some updated information. And there's especially um, there's so much noise now on the web. There's so many different real estate websites. Um, there's so many different numbers depending on whose feed you're watching. Um, numbers can be inaccurate. Um, Zillow is a great example of this. Um, they're uh, notoriously inaccurate just because of the amount of data that they're trying to put together. So if you would like a specific valuation from a real person that is in the condo market, let me know. Just hit this little tag at the top of the uh, video. Put your unit number in or if you have even if you have something else that you would like uh, another piece of property you'd like me to take a look at, happy to do it. Um, I can put together a very general valuation for you just based on the information I have. If you can get me um, photos or a website of your unit or get me in and take a look at it. Um, and of course, any information about age of mechanicals and any upgrades you might have made that will, get, of course, help. And I can be more specific. Um, I like to put out valuations with a range. Um, usually a bottom range is, hey, there's no reason you should be selling for any less than this. Uh, if you put it out at this price, you would probably sell it very quickly. I like to offer a middle of the of the range being a price that um, pushes the market some, but can get us something that's attainable and would close in a relatively reasonable amount of time. Um, and then I like to always give a high end uh, of what's uber aggressive. Here's as aggressive as I think we can be and be competitive in the market. So here's potentially what the high end of what you may be worth. Uh, the market surprised me. I'm 18 years of doing this. Um, the market surprised me more than a handful of times in the last year and a half. So my uh, upper end of what I recommend, I can I continue to push that a little bit because um, we're getting some, we're having some closings and successfully really pushing the market and setting some records. So if you would like that, hit the little uh, banner. Um, and we'll get that for you. Uh, I'll dig deeper into some uh, some trends next month just to keep an eye on that one to see how supply and demand is looking. I'm not going to do too much, um, not too in-depth there because January, the plan is to do a very, very in-depth look at what's happened the entire year and sort of make some um, projections for the spring uh, and see what direction things are headed. So hope you guys found this helpful. I uh, will be in touch, touch next month. Hope you're enjoying your start up to almost the holiday season. Guys, be well, stay safe.